Hello YouTube, Happy Cat here and today's video we are going to look at how we can get packages or external packages for our app. Now say you are building an app, say um, a to-do app like you see here and maybe you needed some onboarding screen to show people how the app works. Now you could implement this yourself by using a page view widget and implementing the logic yourself and all of that. But sometimes you do not need to reinvent the wheel. Just like if you needed a text field for your app, you don't create the text field from scratch. We normally use what? The text field widget. Okay, that has been created by the Flutter team and is part of the Flutter framework. In the same idea, you do not need to create a widget from scratch or something from scratch that has already been done by somebody. Now you could go the tough route to do everything yourself which is good but um, when you are in a hurry, when you need to get things down, if you have a package that solves your problem, go ahead and use it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do this. So the first thing you want to do is go up and open your favorite browser, head on to pub.dev as you can see here and then this is what we are looking for. Now in this site, you can actually just go through here, look at the most popular packages, look at the top flutter packages, top dot packages, and actually this package of the week videos are quite insightful. They give you a brief introduction of how, how the package works and stuff like that. Now if you have the name of the package you want, you simply just type it here. So let's say we want an onboarding screen, right? So um, I know one that is an introduction screen, so I'll simply type that so and hit enter. So once we type in introduction screen, we can see that what I type is exactly here. Now you can check and then see the likes, the pop points and then the popularity. Okay, you want to look at this and figure out and get to know the ones that are um, used by people a lot and liked by people. This is very important because you may find certain packages of a similar name. Some are low rated, some don't yet support now safety. So these are things you need to look out for when looking for screen. Now aside that, it doesn't matter. I may say introduction screen which is 99 popularity but something like um, let's say I'm just looking for something else. Let's say Flutter intro. I haven't used it before, but if I click on this and let's see what it does, it kind of gives us um, an interesting view of an introduction. So this basically tells us that's not what I'm looking for. Anyway, let's head on to the introduction screen. If we select this introduction screen, it actually shows us an example, which is exactly what we are looking for. So right here, we know we are in the right path. It's important you read and try to understand the documentation. They give an example of how it works. It's very good so that you understand how the package works. Don't just copy paste and then ask yourself, so what do I do next? Try to read, understand how it works. The documentation is right here. Now, if you want to use this in your um, application, then it's quite simple we can go to so you see we have change log example installing versions of course we can go to the installing part and then you can see use this package as a library so they tell you to depend on it so run this command with flutter so you can run this command if you want it so flutter pub add introduction screen just like that or you can go to your dependencies and then simply add this line of code so this is what we want right here okay this is by far the common way i do this so i'm going to copy this or you could use this button too as you see over there then i'll go back to my app i'll go to my pubspec.yaml and we are going to scroll down to where we have our dependencies as you can see so if i get rid of this comment we can see under dependencies, we have the Cupertino icons, we have the Flutter and I'm using get here. So I'll come right down here and then paste this. Once I do this, if um, VS Code doesn't automatically get this package for you, you should click on this little 
download like icon so i haven't yet clicked on it but it is doing it automatically so this should happen but if it doesn't you need to click on this so that it gets you the package automatically and when you get this exit code zero that means it has been installed successfully without any issue okay now after doing this the next thing you want to do is import it so you can simply just copy this line of code and then go to where you want to use this app so i'll come here press it down and then paste this now this is going to complain i haven't used it and if you don't know what is happening here you can simply use um, the extension called error lens so now if we're to use this package unfortunately i doubt i'll be able to show it here but let's just um, say we wanted to use introduction so introduction screen you can see we are able to get it and now this requires us to configure some of these things and like i did say you can figure out how this works by simply checking out an example by the creators so you can see there's an example of how it works and everything one thing you can even do is you can copy this entire code put it in your file and have a look at it run it and see how it actually works and examine it okay so this is one way and this is um if i would say like the old way of doing this okay because there are more um, easier ways of doing this now okay so i'm going to undo this and i'll actually just remove this line of code and possibly just remove this because i don't need it anymore okay and i can click on this to run pub.get and if i get exit code zero then everything is fine now another way to do this is to use an extension okay so i'm building this up little by little you can use an extension to also get this done so if we go to the extensions icon uh, we have pub spec assist okay this one right here so all i need to do is install this and you can see how it is being um, helped over here so if i click install this is going to install so now that this is installed i can now go back to wherever i want to use it so in fact i'll stay in my pubspec.yaml i'll click on this and go to the command palette so as you can see Control shift p and i can type pubspec access so pubspec access add update dependencies and this is what we want add so um yeah add update dependencies i was actually looking at this but we want this one so when i click on this the next thing we need to do is type the name of the package okay and if we have more we put it this way separate them by commas so let's say i wanted the introduction screen again so i'll simply type um introduction screen um so i'm getting confused here because um, i don't know whether it's um underscored or not but you know what i'll just do this this should be able to get it fast so introduction screen and i'm going to hit enter so yeah it searches and then it gets us so the actual thing has an underscore so it's not a problem so we click on this and you can see it adds it back just like that okay so this is um was one of the the most popular ways of doing this for a very long time okay and of course automatically vs code should get you like the package downloaded and everything and you can use it just like i showed you before the best way i would recommend now is so i'm going to get rid of this so after one of the updates of vs code it now has the ability to actually get you packages from the pub.dev site and the nice thing about that is it actually um shows you the packages as you're searching for okay so let's see how that works so i will remain in my pubsec.yaml so that we can see how it works and we need to open the command palette so Control shift p and then you simply type that and if you're not seeing it like mine just type that add and then you'll see that add dependencies make sure you're using the latest version of vs code okay so since this is not a dev dependency but a dependency 
we'll simply click on this now you can see how it shows the names here so if i start typing introduction screens you see how this is able to show us a list of um, a drop down of similar things with intro so so once i start adding introduction you see we have introduction screen here okay so once i click on introduction screen here this is going to go ahead and add it like you've seen just here and it would analyze and get us everything just as before okay so this is by far the common way now that uh, we tend to add packages to um, our projects now i'm not saying never use the site of course if you if you don't know how to use the package it's very important you come here read about the package figure out how it works and all of that and there are some cool stuff here so you have top flutter packages so equitable is one see you can read it so this can actually guide you to figure out what are people using and what are people recommending these videos like i said very very um good so um, if I type in shared um, preferences, if I can spell this well, I just want to show you something. So this has 100% popularity and you see it has this flutter favorite tag. So when I click on this, you notice it has flutter favorite. Okay. So if you see this, it doesn't really mean um, it's the death of you. If you click on this, this will actually take you to a site where the actually explain what the flutter favorite means and all of that so that you don't get confused why does this have flutter favorite is it that i, I should use all in that or not so this can help you figure out what that means okay so i hope this helps you in adding packages to your applications and then building awesome apps so without much stay safe and i'll see you in the next tutorial